What's up, you guys? It's Shady Gamer back with another video, back with another banger. Look, you guys, hit the subscribe button, join the Shade team today. If you have not joined the Shade team yet, then what are you doing? Because on this channel, I cover the latest news for multiverses. And you guys, this is the thing. I'm not even talking about no news. It got some drama going on in the multiverses community. And the drama is behind the fact that multiverses is doing a collaboration ad with the NHL. Now, you guys, this is crazy though, right? Multiverses is doing a collaboration thing with the NHL to where they're going to have like the Multiverses characters playing against hockey players or whatever and this advertisement that they're doing that's coming out April 14th. Well, some people are upset saying they shouldn't be doing stuff like this, calling it trash, and people are mad that Multiverses is not showing us more stuff about the game because they're going ahead and showing us a collaboration that they're doing with the NHL, and some people think it's trash, some people think it's weird, and me, I'm like, why? It's just another endorsement, though. It's another advertisement. Like, they just literally did a advertisement, you know, a promotion deal with McDonald's, and now they're doing one with the NHL, and I'm sure they have more stuff lined up as well. And I just like the fact that we getting some stuff for multiverses. You know, we got the McDonald's endorsement deal. We got the deal with the NHL. Shoot, they did one with the NBA on a while back when the game was around during the open beta. Now, this is the thing. So for the people that have a problem with this, and also if you know somebody that has a problem with the NHL multiverses collab, send them this video because I'm about to go ahead and give y'all some facts when it comes to, you know, promotion deals and stuff like that. First of all, this is not the first time that any franchise did some type of endorsement deal or promotion or whatever that may seem kind of like, you know, not related or whatever because multiverses don't really have much to do with the NHL. But it makes sense to go ahead and try to reach an audience that may not be focusing on multiverses too much. But this is not the first time in history this happened. I said this on Twitter. The Flintstones back in the day did a promotion deal with Winston. That's a cigarette company. That's something that they were trying to aim towards adults using a kid cartoon. Let's check this out. And still to this day, the Flintstones still have the promotional deal with Fruity Pebbles. Guess what? The more endorsement deals, the more promotion, the more it helps the game or any brand or whatever in particular. And I'm sure if you look at any franchise or whatever it may be, brand or whatever, you'll probably see something like, wait, why are they going ahead and collaborating with this brand over here, which don't really have too much to do with this brand? It's because, guess what? They already know they drop a trailer, whatever, and stuff like that, which they're going to do. Multiverses is going to drop a trailer, some type of cinematic trailer. I'm very, very, very sure about that because Tony even said himself in the Road to Launch video that we're going to watch the Earth get destroyed by some type of modulator or whatever. Here's the clip. We're thrilled to announce that we'll soon be launching the Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator that'll destroy the Earth hi, once hi. and for all. Marvin, stop. It makes sense to try to go ahead and reach out to the audience that you really don't have because guess what? The people that are the diehards when it comes to multiverse are following the game very closely, which is most of the people that watch my YouTube channel are still following the game closely without no type of cinematic trailer or anything being dropped in the game not being around. They don't really need to reach those people. It's the people that don't have no idea that the game is coming back May 28th. Guess what? Some of them people watch hockey. Then also, I'm going to put like a shout out to my boy Spider, also known as Lost Tangent Outpost. He was actually one of the people that kind of questioned the whole NHL and multiverses thing. You know, him and different nerd, another YouTuber. Uh, shout out to him as well. Had a discussion on Twitter about it. But even with somebody that was questioning this, he posted something. Well, reposted something that somebody that go by the name Ken went ahead and posted about Tony speaking about introducing the multiverse community to different fandoms. And it makes sense. I'm going to let this video play. Y'all check this out. Uh, I think it's been really fun to see our community um, and introduce them to new things that that they, you know, there's characters in our game that, um, that uh, some players have never seen before or understand what they are. And then they go off and watch these shows. And we're introducing uh, these players to these shows yeah. for the first time. And then living that, because I'm like talking to them, and they're like super excited about what excited me. Yeah. So um, watching, you know, uh, players watch Steven Universe or Adventure Time for the first time, or even Game of Thrones for the first mm -hmm. time, and like 
and, and seeing their reactions to it and how excited they are um, and introducing them to, um, to fandoms that they, they wouldn't have normally have um, gotten interested in. So I think that that has been really rewarding. Now with that being said, it makes sense for them to go ahead and do this. You gotta think about Fortnite, for example. They reached out to the Dragon Ball Z community. They had Dragon Ball Z in the game. They had a promotion deal with the NFL, another sports franchise, and they had the NFL uniforms and all in the game. You guys, come on. We gotta stop, we gotta stop with this. I understand, I get it, I get it. I wanna see more stuff for the game. I wanna see more gameplay. I want more news for the game, but it's coming, you guys, it's coming. Yo, we still have about two months left before the game comes out, and I already know they're about to drop some bangers of information, trailers, and all this other stuff that's going to come out. I guarantee you, I'm not even tripping about it. I just don't understand the rage behind this. They gave us a McDonald's one. they giving us an NHL one. I'm sure next week they're going to give us something else. All they're going to do is help the game. You know who's going to hurt the game? If they don't say or do nothing at all. That's what's going to hurt the game. But you guys, I want y'all to do me a favor. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know. As a matter of fact, I'm going to post a poll on my YouTube channel when this video drop. Do you have a problem with the NHL endorsement deal or not? Go check that out on my community post. But you guys, comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share the video. And also subscribe and join the Shade Team. Join the Shade Team. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Shade Team as always. And I'm out.